Garth. <laughs> Always. Must you? It's it's important. kids right now. Like honestly. It's an important part of uh, the experience. When I went AFK, I couldn't resist, and I made an everything seed bagel with super quiet. On it. I'm quiet. Better. Test test. Slightly. I hear you're good. Do I have you turned down still? Was I like screaming uh, at something? Right. Oh yeah, I do. Was I really loud at some point? I'm sorry. Not to my knowledge. Oh, when I when I switched over to my um, Discord on my computer, I had to turn everyone way down because it was super loud. And I guess I just forgot to turn you back up. I always have to change everyone's levels like every time. At least it's super easy to do that in Discord. Yeah. Boy, I sure love painting. It's my favorite thing in the world. Anyway, I was just going to tell you guys, when I went AFK before, I made an everything seed bagel with um, cream cheese and it was delicious. Now I want to make more. Do you love everything bagels? Hell yeah. I, Sounds um, delish. Yesterday, I bought a lava lamp on a whim for $12 from Target. <laughs> I've just been sitting here watching it this whole time. <laughs> Meditative. That's good. I'm gonna post a picture. To take this time to go do that thing my wife asked me to do. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. A wise plan. Yep, I'll be right back. Happy wife, happy life. Hello. Hello. Okay, I'm gonna go grab some coffee real fast. Okay. Gaze at my lava lamp. Ooh. Yes. Kirsty, I bought it. this lava lamp on a whim yesterday for like twelve. Yeah. I've just been staring at it. <laughs> I got to see that that is Ooh, a, that's nice a smart colors. purchase right there. Okay, I will be right back. I'm gonna get more coffee. Okay, have fun. All right. Did we decide on anything then, or is it just? Off. Yeah, so uh, acquisition and distribution agents on our behalf. Okay. Should net both them and us some profit in the future. Mm. Alright, cool. If not, we could also trade things. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and yeah, that would work, yeah. Yeah, and they could spy. Well, not spy, but, you know, probe yeah, the. Yeah, sort of. Information collective, kind of yeah, gathering. yeah, okay, that's cool. So, mutual profit, mm. I like it. Give a man a staircase and he'll walk down it. Did you say what or did you yawn? I think I was yawning. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I'm sort of on this weird, like, second wind now and I'm just like, ooh. Oh well. Oh, yeah, I'm back. Welcome back. Hello. I return. Oh, welcome back. Welcome back. Copycat. Ooh. 
for returning? Fine, I, I, I won't return. I'll just <laughs> never come back. But that was the end that of the would, campaign. That would be a weird end, but you know, at least we'd have <laughs> finality. <laughs> uh, we're all back. Rebecca is making a bagel, I think. Oh, or yeah. coffee, coffee. Coffee, coffee I think nothing. she said. I think she went coffee. coffee. The magic bean juice. Coffee. coffee. Magical bean juice, yeah. You gotta use water coffee. to make some coffee. <laughs> Crash, I'm just gonna warn you now. Mm. I'm back. Mm. We're gonna have to hire Brandon Sanderson to finish this campaign. <laughs> Who's that? Lol. Guy who finished Wheel of Time. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, if you can, you you don't want to hire him, yo. I can play too. It'll be crazy. <laughs> I bet it would. I, I listened to a podcast where you can contact him. <laughs> really? That's yeah, crazy. you can send in, you can send in questions to the panel, and he's on it. So you know. He's a super cool oh, dude. I made, like, <laughs> or something. Mm. Yeah, he's like very responsive to his fans. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. All right, I'm actually going to run off really quickly again, so I'm starting to get hungry. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Back in the like crystal. Two seconds. Like Back two in the ruby. <laughs> I'm just going to get some biscuits. I'm like two minutes. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right. They're cookies. You have until Rebecca gets back to get your biscuits. Who just eats biscuits? And I realized. <laughs> Yeah, because those are cookies. Yeah, yeah. Also yeah I'm, I'm not a fan. Biscuits or crumpets or something like that. Some something Perfect. stupid. <laughs> made a bunch of made-up words to be special. That's all. Yeah, I call it trash. A wheelie bin and stuff like that. What's oh, in the uh? Wheelie bin. To be fair, we also have terms like hella. That's hella lit, fam. Yeah, I get the triggers in. Yeah. yeah. Can oh I get God, a straw no. hat? Shut up. <laughs> it's funny because, like, the place I live, or the, around the place I live, and it's like a bunch of either apathetic people or apathetic Asian people, which is a different sort. And <laughs> we literally just. Oh no, you can't give plastic straws! And then literally I refill the plastic straw bin like every few hours. Like, yep. Compliant with California law right here. <laughs> Request them my ass. Hopefully yeah. they can suck at California. Concealed right, so carry. We're back, yes? We are all back, yes? Alright. So? Yes, I'm here. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. Uh, on the way out, Nadia does you all. Mostly Roshan, fellow paladin. If you constitute Nadia as a paladin. She has a levels, whatever. As you guys are climbing up the ladder back to the first floor, she looks at you, Roshan. Saying it's out loud for the whole group to hear, though. You really think that they're gonna be redeemed? Like, really? Not if no one will ever give them the opportunity. Close her eyes. It's not up for me to decide. Who they are will not change who I am. Even if letting a threat like that just keep rocking around? You say letting a threat that would kill their own family walk around is good? I'm hunting them down for a reason, ain't I? Then what of you after you succeeded? She's like putting a hand on the ladder to climb and she stops. Nathaniel's not my brother. Not anymore. My family. It was right. Certainly didn't become criminals. Against climbing up. As we leave a house we broke into. <laughs> she, <has a> <laughs> she keeps climbing up. 
witch doctor is like next to him. <laughs> Telepathically says, She does not understand. Do not. Mm. I see we leave through the back door, yes? Yeah. Yeah, they're all conglomerated back on the first floor. I think this is where we part ways. Hmm. Well, before you go then, try to say thank you for helping me, I suppose. Uh, and all of you as well. Wasn't nothing. Of course. Well, you still appreciate it though. It's on my way, so to speak. Mm. It's not like I'm going anywhere anytime soon. Well, I suppose well, we'll be seeing each other later tonight though, won't we? <laughs> Yeah, we'll see. <sighs> she leaves the back door. So you know, after you open, suspect you will become very lost. Come and find me if that is the case. Her hands on the door. She didn't say anything. She just continues leaving. She's gone. Very peculiar one, that one. <laughs> Oris remarks. Quite peculiar. Indeed. I forgot you were here. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Quite. Exactly. Where so did thank you... you for the compliment. Hmm. Where, where did we pick up these people as well? Where did we pick up you? I got called in via a favor, which I believe, he looks at the rest of you, the favor is paid. Manifold. No. <laughs> I must admit, it was a fun afternoon. Very interesting. You can experience fun. <laughs> <laughs> Ourselves no fun multifold compared to you mortals. Well. Uh-huh. He rolls his eyes. I shouldn't say rolls. <laughs> but <laughs> as a parting gift to the Redeemer, he gestures to Russian. I hear you're going to be hunting something of how to say great value. Where the cook off? Have you found a target? Ooh. Do Russia? Lands are not mine. I was, I guess, just gonna wing it. Well, then allow me to offer you a bit of help. Again, a parting thank you. It'll be something fun. You give me something fun for the afternoon, so it might be something fun for the night. The rest of you. In my hunts outside the walls, I came across a very peculiar, very large one that don't. Well, I haven't seen it since back. Hmm. Here's. Last I saw one of these things was in my home. So, allow me to tell you that there is something called. Give me a moment. Translating into comment, weird. A blue blood tortoise. A tortoise? Tortoise. Or tortoise. Is that like a giant crab? Or tru. No. Tortoise? Tortoise. Tortoise. That's it. It's not something that's so easy to translate. It's the best approximation I have. Well, seriously, I have no idea what that is. It's a tortoise. I just said tortoise. That. Roll any background information at disadvantage. Yeah, yeah. The, the disadvantage didn't even matter at all. Yeah, you don't know. It's a very large tortoise, yes. Mm. One who, which is considered a delicacy. The flesh is a delicacy. And. It's quite large, and it's quite delicious, and it's not the easiest thing to put down. 
So, it might be a fitting thing for you to bring to the cookout. If you all were so inclined to go hunt it. <gasps> ah! <laughs> <gasps> ah! <laughs> I mean, I'm up for that. Let's do it. Mm. Then you need look farther to mostly to the east. I'd say probably mm, 10 degrees higher than due east. 10 degrees north by due east. Not that far. If anything, I'm surprised I hadn't... Well, actually, I shouldn't be too surprised. They're usually pretty docile. Territorial. But pretty easy to circumvent. So... Are they... Yes? Are they they slow? For their size, yes. Okay. This thing is huge, probably the size of this building. Oh, oh, okay. I was thinking like it was as big as a car or something. <laughs> that looks good. Oris, okay. uh, would you do you perhaps know how many hours is left until uh, nightfall? He looks out the back door. Let's see. Two hours till sundown. Seven till midnight. When's the cookout? Cookout officially ends at midnight. Um, but if you wanted to bring out a last minute spectacle. <laughs> all fair game. Well, I am all for the dramatic. I don't really know. The one I saw it didn't seem normal, if that makes sense. It seemed a bit more agitated. I'm not sure if that mm. might be because of scoring can messing with it or was. Or maybe it's just simply having a off season. No no. These things are intelligent enough to avoid talents. I don't know. I ju- just know that by its original nature, it can breathe acid. What? It can breathe acid. No. The byproduct oh, fuck, of its obviously. nature. The trees upon oh. it that grow out of its shell and on its back can shoot at you. Needles. These are poisonous, so don't get hit by them. If you can, let her foot. <laughs> uh, aim for the squishy well, bits. You point the finger at wise? <laughs> Don't aim for the yeah. shell, then. <laughs> the trees themselves can be killed before you kill the tortoise. Kill the tortoise, the trees die with it, eventually. Is it like an ant type thing going on with the trees, or is it just... Well, it is fortunate, Wise, that your speciality is at throwing fire. Oh, oh, yes it is. Yes it is, peeps. (laughs) Would I I know (laughs) when, like... Try not to cook it too much before you bring it to the cookout. Do I know when, like, turtle breeding season is? (laughs) (laughs) Ah! Oh, but I don't want to kill... No, but I don't want to kill something. If it's gonna like wipe out the species, mm. um, could be why it's so irritated. Roll me background information using with because you travel between the giant clans and stuff. So imagine they like the more oceanic based one. Well, not oceanic. The more hill and mountainous based ones might have some jet. Not necessarily on the blue blood itself, but in general. Uh, it is, uh, summer right now, so spring would have just passed. So, if it had laid eggs or anything of the sort... It would have probably already bred for the year. It would have, yeah, it would have probably already done so. And from how Oris describes how big these things are, and that they have trees that shoot shit out of their back, they're the easiest prey, even when they're young, compared to any other, you know, 
more mundane creature, which is monumentally easier to kill and eat. Yes, arrest. Yes, we we'll also got a two-hour limit as well. Well, uh, four. No, days, no, no, seven. Two hours until sundown. Seven yes. hours until midnight. Well, yeah, but is it the cookout at midnight? To try and, I was trying to try and capture out the Arlet Dervish, unless we're just going to ignore that. Well, you could do that, and then still five hours. Oh yeah, true, true. Right, I'm being the done. Cookout ends at midnight. I'm being time. Okay. Yeah, I get uh, you. I get you. What did the note to to Tanum to where? What oh, did it say? Yeah. Go go where at midnight or it said, when? Drop your stuff. Sundown. I forgot about that. Yeah. Could I like have a look over the notes and see if like anything pops out? Like if I recognize anything, like. You do not recognize it. Uh, no more but... so than you recognize any other. Re Steve. Okay. Like anti handwriting. Okay, so I don't recognize the handwriting or anything. Oh yes, John, I know him! <laughs> yeah, they're not like signed off or anything, so... Yeah, I just meant like and if the handwriting kinda... recognized it or anything. No more so than any other fancy handwriting. Okay. You I'm guys aren't then. like... You guys aren't professional scribe-based criminals like Marcone. Like, you guys probably haven't had to examine people's handwritings like an assassin would be able to, like, mimic someone's mm. handwriting. It's not in your field of expertise. Fancy handwriting, okay. fancy handwriting. Well, I'm worth a try. <laughs> I'll just give it back. Thank you for these flowers, but I'll, I'll give them back to you. <laughs> so, uh, thus departed from or it's just like, Although he does say that if you guys need a fast pick me up, his sister can provide. If you can handle it. I will Some try. Of his sister. Yeah, let's sister. try it. Uh, new experiences are always good. <laughs> Very well. Hmm. Oh, here is she. Oh, yeah? So, you guys go forest then, unless someone wants to do something else. No, I'm up for that. With Orist. To Orist, back to... Oh. So, you guys go back to the Margin Grove, you know, district, quarters, whatever you want to describe it. Cook-off is going on in Earth. You say hi to Adam again. Chili. It is, you know, festival chili. Festival chili. I'm going to just swipe a bowl. Acker stops everywhere. What is this? Oh. Whoa. <laughs> just over and over. Some people, he goes back to some stalls, he remembers them, and they're like, oh, bugger. Well, <laughs> but you guys core through it. Mm -hmm. And go back, arrive at the edge of the forest, the one that Forrest and his sister Darcy call home. Well, come on then. Get a bit of excitement on your faces, Lumberfoots. This is the one time I'll invite you into our woods. Because this is going to be fun. <laughs> and he begins walking in. Do not like the sound of that. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> you guys begin walking through the woods, following Oris as he purposely breaks a trail for you guys to do very easily spot and follow. Just <laughs> crunching branch and stuff like that under his uh, feet. You don't see her, but you hear her somewhere around. Oh no. <laughs> It'll be fun, sister, I promise. What fun could arise from them? Oh, she's so looking... thick and delightful. <laughs> Careful of the branches, goathead. Careful for the branches. I hate them to get tangled in. <laughs> They're looking for a pick me up. <laughs> And I thought you would be able to oblige. Of course, I'm able to oblige. Why would I? Quite boorish, that one. Don't mind her. Whatever. 
If I recall correctly, you had something brewing, something special. Oh. <laughs> Dashi appears from around a tree <laughs> uh, next to Wise. Well, why didn't you all just say so? He walks around you, Wise, like a cat walking around a mouse. You got a problem there, woman, or are you just happy to see me? I mean, I'm quite a. I'm, I know, I will admit, I'm quite a fantastic specimen, but I mean, you know, you can't be that obvious. Flashback to the mushroom person on, on Acker's shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> Acker waits outside, because keep in mind, keep in mind, Acker regenerates like 10 health per round, <laughs> which is six seconds. So, in the time it took for you guys to go that last room back to the ladder, he probably healed all of his health back. <laughs> What's your affinity of nature, Goathead? <laughs> well, sorry, I'm trying to come. I'm trying to come up for combat. Give me a second. <laughs> well, out of game. Out of game. <laughs> oh no, Darcy doesn't wait. <laughs> ah shit. Well, I think you can figure it out for yourself, can't you? Nice clothes. Got her. Burn. You certainly don't walk like you've walked in a forest. Oh, this is gonna yeah. be good then. Oh, really? Is it? Is it? <laughs> yeah, thanks for yeah. pointing that out. Oh. Yes, hmm. I'm. I'm. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can tell she's thinking of something really, really cutting. But she just, and that just puts a smile on her face. Oh, look at that. She's happy. Who would have thought? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I've heard worse. <sighs> Come with me over here, then. All of you. I follow along. You take you. She does something similar to her. You know this horse is gone. As you guys are all turning to look at Darcy, he's gone. She breaks a trail of her own, making like sort of a perpendicular, not fully like 90 degrees or anything, but like a semi-perpendicular half away. And then you guys go to this clearing. It's a very small clearing. It's not like the size of like, you know, like a room or anything. It's probably like a clearing that's five feet in radius. So it's really, you know, very small. So you guys are probably most in the tree lines, except for a couple of you. Inside, the, at the center of this clearing, is a uh, tree stump. It goes about down a uh, belly high. Hear me tap my belly there. And as you guys get closer, you guys being hollow, and that there's a liquid inside of it. This sort of, like, honey-colored liquid. Hmm. What does it smell like? As you guys get closer to it, it doesn't smell like honey, like it's, you know, uh, visuals would indicate. It smells a bit, it's like a mix of like, uh, I was gonna say tree boy, that's not, <laughs> sap, tree what? sap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tree, tree sap, as well as flowers. So like sort of floral scent to it. Mm, probably a bit more like uh, chrysanthemum. It smells good. I assure you, it tastes worse than this. So, if you want to get patched up really fast, she says with this mischievous smirk on her face, looking. More like her immortal fairy kin than anything. <laughs> All you need to do. She reaches at like where the roots dig into the ground, the stump, and pulls out this little pouch. This little leather pouch. And pulls out these little. They sort of look like uh, nuts. Like, well, like walnuts. Except, you know. Walnuts aren't red 
I'm not saying red as in like, you know, it was, it was dark, you know, brownish red. No, like, it's like a bright, vibe, like a neon red. Like, Ooh. unnaturally red. Like, eat it and you will die red. It's like, Neo, do you want the this pill or this pill? <laughs> <laughs> like that. <laughs> eat this, drink a full spoonful of this. And she points at a tree behind her, one that's just... Its branches are, uh, what's, what's the term? It's been pruned so that it, you know branches normally just spiral out from different points on the uh, circumference of the tree trunk. No, these all go out as if like you're looking at a chevron or like an arrow's fletchings. Like they're all in a vertical column, or row by row in a vertical column, just going out. So like a uh, fern leaves, I guess. And lay upon the tree. It's like, it's like I did like a diagonal tilt. And then tell me how you feel afterwards. I volunteer to go first. She holds out the bag. This is why I like him the most. Too many. Way too many ideas. This. a lot. <laughs> well, only one way to find out. That's the spirit. Mm. I'm good, though. <laughs> yeah, you're fully healed. Yeah, I'm pretty much good to go. <laughs> I chow down on the. Uh, was it an acorn you said? It's like a mm. nut. I guess, I guess maybe like a berry, like a like a hard surface berry, because it has like like a nut like is like crunchy all the way through a berry is like juicy, so it's like it has a like a hard crunchy exterior, but the inside of it like pops like a like a gushers. Mm. Yeah. No, no, those aren't those are not, those those are still like berry berries. Like they still have like. A perishable, easy exterior. Like this is like actually it's sort of like a peanut in like its exterior. I don't know what the hell. Ooh, those look cool. What kind of. Are, are those like lingonberries or something? It's goji berries. Goji yeah. berries, yeah, oh. that's right. They're just so bright red. That's what I thought of. Uh, there's somewhere like that again, except it was bright. Again, like they're unnaturally bright. That's naturally red and bright. These are unnaturally. So you consume it. So, um, how are you feeling? And then I down a full spoon of uh, liquid. Yeah, it's not like a ladle or anything. It's more like um, like a shallow serving spoon. Just <sighs> as you consume the berries, recover as if you took a long rest. Your class abilities, as you imbibe the unknown liquid. It's not a liquid. It's too thick to be liquid. Fluid, um, heal all your hit points as if you took a long rest and recover half of your spent hit dice, or half of your total hit dice, rather. And then make me a Constitution saving throw. <laughs> you think you have a stroke midway? <laughs> <laughs> like you you drink it and put the spoon back into like the fluid and then you feel like you're like your like your mind go numb and then the rest of your body follow suit and you think that you actually either got paralyzed or you but then it just <sighs> you realize as you take a breath in that your heart may have actually stopped for just a moment <laughs> You, uh, feel that, okay there? that close call to death makes you feel that much more alive, though. <laughs> <laughs> and you feel ready to collapse, in which Darshi has a hand on your wrist and begins guiding you over to the tree trunk, this wide tree trunk, and she lays you down on it like a therapist laying down like a uncooperative patient. <laughs> and the, the branches around you sort of fold on you, stack on top of one another. Oh, she's put him to bed. 
It does look like that. Honestly, it does look like that. Thank <laughs> you. Tanum gives like a, a, a weak thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Darcy puts so an ear to the tree. Interesting. Oh, of course. The branches unfurl from around you. And then... Okay, who's next? Me. I gotta try this. <laughs> Off you go, have fun. <laughs> The, as the leaves unfurl from around you, they do send off like this sort of smelling salt effect on you, so it does sort of kick you into more like awakeness and awareness. Ugh. That was an experience. Hmm. And you're alive at the end of it, which is very good, I suppose. Like, like a worth it experience or a not doing that again experience? Out of curiosity. Try it for yourself and find out. <laughs> Oris has described it to me the one time he's done it, because he hasn't had to do it since. He's <laughs> described it to me as like dipping your cut cut hand into barbed wire and lemon juice to get a key for a trap that's around your neck. You don't like it, but it's quite and very much necessary and effective. Oh, okay. Yeah, I wouldn't say that is I wouldn't know either. anything about it. <laughs> huh. Yeah, as she gives you, she opens up the pouch for you to take a berry nut. Okay. I don't know how to describe it. It's going to be something in the world that actually does describing, but I don't know what it is because <laughs> I'm unable to Coconut? Oh! I guess, yeah, it's like, yeah, I guess it was sort of like a coconut. You no, know, no, yeah, it's sort of like, because like a coconut is like hollow for like the coconut. Like, okay, I like, take the bright like, red through. coconut, pop it open, like, it down. What about a kiwi? Oh, no, that's good. Kiwi, yeah, yeah. Like a more hard exterior kiwi, yeah. A passion okay. fruit. I don't know what a passion fruit is like, so I don't know. In either guess. case. We're gonna off track. You eat the thing, you drink yeah. the stuff, and you make me a constitution saving. <laughs> hey! In a similar manner, your heart stops. <laughs> if we had it for if you have it for a couple more seconds, I think we could call you Lee. <laughs> <laughs> you recover all your spell slots and heal all your health. And similar manner. Darshi brings you over to the tree and uses her wood elven ears to listen to the tree and then probably kicks you on ass who's next. <laughs> That's a passion fruit. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> oh, I thought you had that. You eat the unknown <laughs> fruit nut. You drink the unknown substance. You make the constitution saving throw. <laughs> you're you're a statistically pro thank you have fun <laughs> you're gonna spend the nat 20 on this to find out what happened <laughs> well luckily for you the 22 does change my description of the results because I chose a 5 you get 15 below. <laughs> you lucked out on the 15. If it was below, I'd describe a very different set of results. <clears throat> so, 22. Perhaps it's your wood elven nature consuming a wood elven pro. You hope it's a wood elven product. You hope. No one, no one, no one actually said Darcy made this. <laughs> yeah, but. Whatever it might be, there's something about you that allows you to not have your heart stop while doing this. Uh, roll me two hit dice. Okay, twelve. Twelve. Oh. Recover no. all your class features, heal all your health, and gain twelve temporary hit points. 
Noticing that you don't need her assistance, Darcy right, corks an eyebrow and just, she doesn't drag, not drag, she doesn't guide you over to the tree, she's just for you to go there yourself. Her smile, not there anymore. Just a look of intrigued curiosity. I'm getting a call from Scam Likely, huh? I didn't realize I know so many Scam Likely. <laughs> Interesting. So, yeah. So, you go doff over to the tray. And you lay down upon it, and you notice that uh, there's a bit of, maybe it's just the, the fact that you're the one sitting in it now, or maybe it's because actually it's true. The, the branches, both branches and leaves curl a bit more around you. Like before they just basically like put your hands in a straight matter, make them perpendicular, make them like a right angle, and then just sort of close them. Like they just sort of, they didn't curl, like they're just straight closed. Around you, it does curl at the end and sort of try to encapsulate you like a an egg made of leaves, a cocoon of made of leaves and branches. It doesn't take any longer than the other ones, but you notice it yourself. Again, you're not sure if it's something different or it's just a matter of perspective. Regardless, soon enough, Darcy listens to the tree and kicks you out. <laughs> well, maybe your nature. Don't know Jack. Who is Jack? <sighs> I mean, if you want, if you want, I could send Abigail next. Keep in mind, though, Garth just rolled low numbers, so by the oh, no, magic, I'm not. Rule I'm, not I'm saying that because Garth's horrible joke. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. But before that, um, how many is Witch Stalker and Abigail? Hey! <laughs> oh, you're using your spells to fuck you! I mean, they're going anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, he doesn't have that. Nope. Alright, so you eat nut, fruit, berry, man bear pig thing yeah, i'm just gonna you know enjoy the experience you you do it a bit slow you do it slower than the rest of them it's really there's no flavor to this thing like it's like dragon fruit if you ever had that like there's no flavor to it like there's some like undertone of potentially some sort of fruit flavor maybe but it's basically just like your the texture is all you're eating this for honestly that's what it feels like Crunchy on the outside, but as you bite into it, it's like biting into like an apple. So it's like, it actually has like a bit of crunch as you chew to it, but it eventually just becomes mush. Ah. Uh. Yeah. And when you drink the uh, liquid, you know, in a couple of seconds before, you know, we, you know we'll make a con save and we'll, we'll talk about what happens. Uh, the mush in your mouth sort of absorbs almost like the flavor of what the, you know, the sort of. It's like over sweet jam. Like it's like nauseatingly sweet. That's what it tastes like. But then uh, I recall an episode of Man vs. Bear Girls Lures has a thing of jam which is way too sweet and he says if he eats it it would just make him more dehydrated, but he instead used it to lure in animals as bait. It's sort of like that. It's probably unhealthily too sweet and probably more detriment to your health than it would have been naturally if it wasn't so sweet. But when you eat it with the bland flavors of this nut, fruit, berry, whatever the fuck you want to call it, it sort of melts out. And it actually isn't terrible. It's still pretty sweet, but it's not nauseating. Now make my con save. <laughs> There it is. <laughs> there it is. Oof. Oh. <laughs> Give it a second go if you want to take the inspiration. Also kind of curious to see... 
Also kind of curious to see what happens when you fail though, so I mean... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do any NPCs have inspiration? I have an inspiration. Do you want to provide it? Yes. If not, Abigail can. Could I use the staff to give him like a... Oh, that's right! You're the that. fucking staff, which is supposed to help with this exact situation! I literally just remembered. <laughs> Use a staff so, first. Uh, advantage to that. The, the, the important world is sir. Okay. Make, make the roll again with advantage. I don't even have portent anymore, by the way. What? I use them. Hey! Ooh. Ooh. Oh, my Six. Six. Alright, so I actually have a description here of what happens on a nat 20. <laughs> it wouldn't have affected you that much, to be honest. Just, you'll see why. You'll see why. <laughs> so, same deal as was with Sandra, it doesn't make your heart stop. You still get the mind numbing and then physical numbing effects. But you don't teeter, you don't sway, and again, your heart doesn't stop, which, you know, again, give a couple more seconds, we'd be pronounced legally dead. Uh... There's something else to it for you, though. Either because of your connection to the Vargin Mother, or... some other... unknown thing. Who knows? Heal all your health. Get... All your spell slots back. And gain a third level spell slot. Or not mm -hmm. spell, no. Yeah, slot, slot, slot. So you have one third level spell ready to get cast. Even if you don't have third level spells, you have a third level spell slot. Like a permanent slot? No, not a permanent slot, but like for until the until he uses it. He has ah. it. So you have a, a pocket ace. <laughs> no, that's what Minius has. <laughs> <laughs> and then you have. No, you don't have access to that spell slots, right? Not until level 9. Gotcha. Then yeah. <laughs> so you want to upcast any of the things you can cast right now? You can. Sweet. But yeah, that is what happens when you get now 20s you get, because it is magically based, I'm not sure if you can tell, it gives you more powerful magic stuff. Now, for a non-spellcaster, well, I would have told what, but you have nothing to sp spend it on, so, eh. That one. <laughs> oh yeah, also, roll me two hit dice, and then gain that much temp HP. Ooh, ooh, damn. Ooh. A nice roll, 17 temp HP. Damn. Damn. A hearty lad. You are now a hearty, heartier lad. You lie down on the tree, and those of you watching Darshi, this time when she listens to the tree, before she just has like a tranquil, like just passive face when she leans against, puts her ear against the tree and listens, that for a moment, this time when she does it, it's passive, and then eyebrow and a frown, and then it goes back to passive. Ooh. And then you get ejected out of the sheet by her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the tree trunk just <laughs> cranked ya! Alright, here's the thing. Abigail happens. has a plus zero to call. Oh no. But she has an inspiration. <laughs> Ah, oh, so close. Yeah. Inspiration. Inspiration. Oh! <laughs> oh my god. Ten worse. Ten worse. I, I got nothing. I still have my inspiration. If you want, it's up to you. Yeah, go ahead. He's, remember, she has a plus zero. You know, <laughs> if she. <laughs> or... uh, okay. <laughs> Say okay. she gets poisoned. We should figure that out. That's easy enough to solve. 
Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Again, she has a plus zero, so, like, she's not expected any more likely than just, ch like, it's, statistically, it's, it's, it's against her. Can you so roll one that. more? No, you, you want to use unusual competence, Scarf? Oh, oh. Wait, what am I? Oh, wait, one, just... one skill checks, one, one yeah. Roll one more for her, just because. Okay, just to see what, what could happen. Statistically, she should oh, yeah, pass. Statistically, she should get it. Nope. <laughs> Feels bad. My luck in a nutshell. My luck in a nutshell, am I right? Shall mm. not, yeah. Yes. Uh, no, it's nah. Uh, it's coming up. I don't. I don't even know what day it is. It's in October, though. Okay. Seven? Um, I don't know your guys' birthdays, obviously, so if your birthday happens, tell me and I'll reset the book of favors. Well, it's in October. In fact, my birthday is going to be on a Saturday this year. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So, I mean, better. you better, yeah, but the, that, the, that means the last, the session before that, you better start spending all this shit. Yeah.